Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and here's your TIP daily for January 15th, 2013. Okay, so let's start off the day with a little next-gen iPhone rumors. Now, an analyst over at Jeffries named Peter Misick is predicting that Apple is currently testing two iPhone prototypes, one being the iPhone 5S to be released in June or July, and one the low-cost iPhone that everyone's been talking about lately. As far as the iPhone 5S goes, as the name suggests, it'll be pretty similar to the iPhone 5, just a little bit faster, like the iPhone 4S and the 3GS were before, and that will go into production allegedly in March to be ready for some time in the early summer. Now, the low-cost iPhone doesn't have a release date according to this guy, but he does say that it will be a 4-inch device with a non-retina screen, uh, no 4G LTE coverage, and a polycarbonate back instead of an aluminum or glass back. Personally, I don't know where he's getting this information. I don't really think any of it will happen, but you never know. Okay, now moving on to tablets. A lot of stories have come out recently claiming that people think Microsoft Surface is cooler than the iPad and like the iPad is past its prime and stuff. According to a report by UBS analyst Brent Phil, the Microsoft sold approximately a million Surface tablets in quarter four of 2012, which is pretty good um, until you consider that that is only about 5% of uh, iPad tablet sales for that same time, which means that iPad outsold Microsoft Surface 20 to 1 in quarter 4 of 2012, which are is very impressive numbers. Um, personally, I haven't seen anybody with a Microsoft Surface. I don't know anybody who's planning on buying one. I don't know anybody who really even wants one. Maybe I'm wrong, but these numbers don't really seem to back up those claims that the Microsoft Surface is garnering more uh, desire than the iPad. Okay, and finally, in a very strange bit of news, according to the Las Vegas Review Journal, um, a ton of pissed off iPhone users are showing up at the Las Vegas home of 59-year-old retiree Wayne Dobson because thanks to a glitch most likely in Sprint's network, all of these customers are having their Find My iPhone service point them to this guy's house. Uh, he didn't steal anybody's phone, he had to put a sign on his lawn saying that he has no stolen phones, but people keep coming up to his house, demanding their phones back, yelling at him, calling the police. The police themselves have even traced phones to uh, his dwelling. He's contacted Sprint and nothing's been changed, the bug still seems to be there. But for Mr. Dobson's sake, and for the sake of the people who really do need to find their phones, uh, not visit Mr. Dobson, uh, hopefully this issue is resolved soon. Okay, well that's all the big news for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Your question of the day today is, what do you think of the Microsoft Surface? How does it compare to the iPad? Do you believe the reports that the Surface is cooler or more desirable than the iPad? Or are you not surprised to hear that the iPad outsold uh, the Surface so much in quarter 4 2012? And you can let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Please don't forget the links to everything I talked about in this video in the description down below, so definitely check those out. And as always, for more news, views, and reviews, don't forget to hit up todaysiphone.com.